and we are rolling towards Eugene, leaving the park right now. 52.5 miles. up up <sighs> quite a while now quite an incline I knew it was here yeah it's not so bad just a lot long just keep trucking that's it Pedal, pedal, pedal. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Stuart Labrosse reporting to you from the 126 en route to Eugene, Oregon. Yeah, uh, it's a nice day. It's a very nice day. Overcast. I can't believe it's supposed to hit 80 degrees today, but you know, it's different than being on the coast. It's gonna be high about 60 on the coast today, I think. So anyways, we are taking a break and we're gonna bust ass up this hill and get there. Yeah, man. Another tunnel. A tunnel with logging trucks, so great. <laughs> Weehaw. And here we go! Really slow uphill into the tunnel. Yeah. Oh, here comes a big fucking semi behind me. Great. No cars. Hey, <laughs> hey, yeah, you wanna? Hey, you wanna? Hey. Oh. Hey, you wanna? Hey, Nancy. 
I know, I see you one that time. I hope allow. are tired oh but there's downhill now <sighs> yeah I can rest on the downhills well Stuart Labrosse reporting to you from the 126 about two and a half miles out of Eugene Oregon and I just got the first flat tire of my trip I don't even know how many miles it's been. I'll figure it out later. It's been a long time. I mean, a long way. Lot, lots of miles. Pretty impressed. The tire guys have been smiling upon me. Uh, let's just see what they do from now on, right? Yeah. See you in Eugene. Oh, yeah. We are at Carl's Jr. I'm gonna have a famous star or a superstar or something, man. They make the best charbroiled burgers. Oh, I gotta pee. Well, here I am for the night. Huh. Is it church? Yeah. I get to sleep in a churchyard tonight. Man, I was wandering around Eugene looking for a place any place to disappear into some bushes or under a bridge or anything. I must have put on 20 miles, I could find nothing. There's homeless people everywhere. Like groups of them, man. Like 10, 15 of them, clusters. Yeah, I, I, there's no safe place to go. And I got led to this church, and I walk in, and there's an AA meeting going on. So I sat down and I attended an AA meeting. I even made a little donation. And, uh, <clears throat> met these two people that were from Babbitt. Yeah, 20 miles away from where I'm from. Talk about a small world. And they're ghost hunters. They weren't in the AA meeting. They were in some other room doing something else. And the guy knew the pastor of the church because he was a member of the church as well. That's why they were there, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, he called him up and he said, yeah, just, you know, let him set up his tent in the back, you know, the side of the road and all that. And it's cool. First time I ever pulled in a church looking for a place to sleep. But in, if you're in dire need, yeah, it, it works. Definitely. So that's pretty cool. I'll keep it in mind, but chances are I'll never be in this position again. Then again, you'd never know. Yeah. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Sleep well. <laughs>